In the last video, we looked at separating an image into RGB or CMI layers by using fill layers. In this video, we will have a look how we can use these layers in a creative way. First, let's kick off by separating the RGB channels of this lovely image. I'm going to fast forward this process a bit. But to summarize, we need three duplicates, one black fill layer, and three fill layers with the red, green and blue. We then need to move these RGB fill layers to the duplicates and apply the multiply blend mode. To make sure we get the same image back, the RGB layers should be set to add blend mode and finally we can group them and as you can see, the final result of the group is now the same as the original image. Awesome! If you want to know more about the details of this process, check out the link in the description. Time to get creative. I'm going to use this group to blend it with the original image to create some interesting color grading effects. First thing I'm going to do is change the black fill layer to white, as I will be changing the blend modes of the RGB layers in a minute. Next, let's select the RGB fill layers we use in the multiply blend mode and change their blend mode to screen. A quick tip, if you didn't know already, you can command click on a layer's title to select multiple layers. Now the image duplicates are using the add blend mode. We're going to change this to linear burn. This however creates a very dark image, so let's change their opacities to 50% while we have them already selected. Awesome! This will create a low contrast image which we can now perfectly blend in using the soft light blend mode with the original image below. Pretty nice. But we can make a small adjustment to make it look more natural by changing the blend ranges of the three images in the group. I'm going to select them again and open up blend ranges. Now let's make sure they will gradually apply from the shadows to the highlights below. Have a look at that. That's gorgeous, it's subtle, but still punchy. Now comes the cool part. This is actually the base for an unlimited ways of giving your images a special look. We can now, for example, adjust the opacities of the various image channels, making the effect stronger or weaker for specific colors, which creates these Instagram-like filters. Next thing we could do is to play with the fill colors itself. We used RGB as a base, but we can easily change the color to give the end result a different color effect. If you want to make the effect stronger, you can for example change the blend mode of the group from soft light to overlay and play with its opacity. Let's have a quick look at another image. I've created a macro which does the channel separation for me. This saves me some time in creating the initial group. Let me quickly make the changes in this group to get our base effect. As a reminder, we need to change the black to white, change the images to linear burn with 50% opacity, change the color fill layers blend mode to screen and update the image blend ranges. As a final step, Let's group it and have it applied in soft light blend mode. Now I can modify the opacities of the channel layers to my liking to get a color grade I like. Here is another image in which I already prepared the group. I can adjust the color channels again, but also you can modify the blend range of the group itself to get more control over how the effect blends in with the original image. I hope you like this video and has given you some inspiration. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, I will keep modifying this image and keep watching to see how the various changes affect the image. Until the next video.